The quiet of Spring Mountain Ranch State Park was disrupted Saturday and Sunday with Union and Confederate troops firing at one another in simulated Civil War battles. Reenactors from Nevada and several surrounding states demonstrated that soldiers in the American Civil War didn't have it easy. The most horrible thing about being a soldier in the 1860s is when you go to sleep, there's no bottom in your tents, there's no mosquito screen. So you get all the bugs coming in your tents, uh, the underside of your tent is wet, anything you put inside is moist. In these tents that are right here, uh, they put about eight people in, in the 1860s. Todd Humphrey, a reenactor with the Camp Carlton Cornet Band based out of Redlands, California, said that brass bands traveled onto the battlefield with both Union and Confederate troops in order to boost morale. This was the first year that Humphrey's group attended the reenactment, which is in its 11th year. Another thing we did was we played for the morale of the troops uh, to keep their spirits high uh, because when we're marching from point A to point B, uh, those are long, tiresome things. And so we would play at night and evening to keep everybody's morale up. We also played. Park interpreter David Lowe said the reenactment does a great job of figuring out a way to tell the story of the Civil War interestingly and engagingly, which is necessary for a town like Las Vegas, where new is king and reinvention is always happening. And we hope every year that more and more public will come and see and learn about the Civil War, because one of the best ways to do that is to touch and feel the uniforms, the equipment, see the weapons and see what life was like for the individual soldiers, not just the generals that we read about in history books. Reporting from Spring Mountain Ranch State Park for the Las Vegas Review-Journal, I'm Natalie Brusda.